Hey, what's up? Thanks for joining me today. My name is Toy. People call me TT. And I um, wanted to make a video today talking about addiction, self control. Because these are places in my life that I'm currently being challenged with. Um, no, I need to grow and let go of some things to harness the power, authority, influence that God has given me. I got to let go of shit. Let go of shit that I know is not good for me. But at the same time, I'm learning how to not be hard on myself for being addicted to things. For, um, like I said, just having bad habits. And one of my bad habits currently right now that I'm, I'm learning to let go of is fucking eating. The foods I eat. Um, it's just like I'm learning that you can't be hard on yourself about the shit that you know you need to change for one being hard on yourself is not going to do nothing to help the process and also Our habits is not who we is. It's just something that we do. It's something that we taught ourselves to do because it comforts us in our unresolved, unhealed trauma. And, yeah. I feel like food be... I feel like I use food a lot of times to um, comfort my feelings. Like to make me feel comfort when I'm lonely. Or to make me feel comfort just when I'm in my feelings. I fucking eat. And the majority of the time, it don't be the healthy shit. So... Not being hard on myself. At first I was. At first I was being hard on myself about my habits. Because. I used to think that. My habits make me a bad person. But that's not true. Because my habits is not who I am. My habits is just something that I do. But I feel like now, because I got the awareness of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how my habits affect me, then I need to fucking get on the shit. You feel me? Get on my shit. And I know that. And I'm not saying it to be hard on myself right now. No. I'm just having a self-check. Self-check day. And we all got, we all got unhealthy habits. But I've been working with a spiritual mentor, getting guidance from, um, he the one helped me, um, he the one helped me with the concept of our habits is not us. Because until then I was just being hard on myself. Like, you know you wrong. You, man, fuck. I'm tired of being hard on myself, man. I'm unlearning a whole bunch of shit. And boy, healing is not fucking easy. Really, healing is, I think healing is one of the hardest things you're going to ever have to do in life, man. And I definitely understand why people be staying the same. 
And that's why I feel like I become more compassionate to people. Let me give y'all an example. So I'm visiting home. Because a lot of my habits is not, a lot of my old habits and patterns is just not food. I just happened to say that today. Um, some of my habits is um, negative mind spaces, negative self-talk, um, like getting offended easy, ready to fight people because I don't like what they say to me. But I haven't been like that in a, in a long time. I was like that at first. And then I went to like people pleasing type of shit. Not speaking up for myself. Having a difficulty setting boundaries with people because I didn't want to make them mad. Or I didn't want to come off as a bitch. So now I'm in a space where I definitely set boundaries with people. And... It was hard for me to learn to set boundaries with people because, I, like I said, I was worried about how, how I make other people feel. Hey, um, Nick, how you doing today? But I learned that when we don't set boundaries with people and we allow people to treat us any kind of way, then we're not loving ourselves. So when somebody explained it to me in that aspect, it made it a little easier for me to start setting my boundaries with people. Beginning to set boundaries was very, very uncomfortable for me. Like, because I am an aggressive person and I'm sensitive and I'm passionate. So when I would get, when somebody would cross a boundary and I need to um, set said it, reassess my boundary with them, I would come off mean. I would come off like a bitch. I know I would, but I still kept on doing it. I still kept on setting boundaries even though I sound mean because I'm, I told myself, you're going to learn how to do this. You feel me? You're not going to fucking let people keep walking over you or treating you. Because then when you don't set boundaries with people and tell people how you feel, then you end up being bitter with them. You end up not liking them. You end up just mad at them when you could have just told them what was on your mind. True story. Okay, so I know I'm kind of getting off topic. And that's why sometimes I don't like making videos because I feel like I be getting off topic. But I want to um, share with y'all this. So I'm in my hometown visiting, right? I went to go see one of my ex-boyfriends, right? Just to, just to say hi. He's a good person. You know what I'm saying? We didn't end on bad times or nothing. Straight platonic friendship. So we talking, whatever. I get ready to leave. When I leave, he gave me a hug. But his hand brushed my ass when I got ready to walk away. And it made me feel uncomfortable because I ain't on that kind of level with him. And guess what? I didn't say nothing. I didn't tell him that it made me feel uncomfortable, right? So for two whole days, I'm thinking about why the fuck you ain't tell him how you feel? You should have said how you felt. And, and it went to a place of me start being mean to myself and feeling like Damn, you letting people do what they want to do to your body. All these kind of thoughts. So, I took it upon myself to reach out to him last night. And I said, hey, I know I'm kind of late saying this to you. But when your hand brushed against my ass, I didn't like that. And, yeah, it was a couple of days late. But you know what? It made me feel better because even though I didn't say it in the moment... I still went back and assessed the issue and let that person know how I felt about that. So I'm proud of myself for that. And that taught me to not, I don't have to wait. I don't have to dumb myself down. I don't have to let, I stand on my fucking self. You feel me? And if somebody don't feel good about that, fuck that. Because I'm not going to be beating myself up days later because I didn't tell a person how I felt. You feel me? That's one incident. Coming back home to Indianapolis definitely showed me my growth. 
So, not to, I ain't trying to put all my business out there, but I really don't care. I, um, because I'm just trying to help other people and show them that we all human and we all go through similar experiences in life and you're not the only person. So, my son and his child's mom, I, I would call their relationship difficult. <clears throat> my sister and myself, I would call our relationship kind of difficult right now. My son has two children that I love dearly. My sister has three children that I love dearly. Because the disagreements with my sister or us falling out a couple a, a couple months ago, she is keeping her kids from me. She know I'm in town and she know I want to see the kids. 11-11 on the clock. Right? My son's baby mama was also attempting to keep my grandkids from me while I'm here. Knowing damn well I want to see them. And they, and I feel like in the past, I would have came and pranked the fuck out on their ass. For real. But my actions toward the whole situation has been different. Like, I accept it. If I don't get to see them, I accept it. You feel me? Even, even though it make me feel disappointed, it even make me feel a little sad. But I'm not going to stay in that place of disappointment and sadness because I know that they doing it to make me feel, to try and intentionally make me feel that way. And I know if it's meant for me to see them, God is going to make a way for me to see them. So I did actually get to spend time with my grandkids. Thank God. Currently, I haven't been able to spend time with my niece and nephew. They are eight years old. I haven't talked to them in like, three months and I talk to them every day you feel me but it kind of make me it make me reflect on myself and it, and it lets me know that I need to continue my healing journey because when I heal myself it directly affects everybody that's connected to me in a positive way and helps them heal also and I'm proud of myself for um not acting how I would act in the past getting upset Damn near wanting to pop up at somebody's house and cuss their ass out, kidnap the kids, all that shit. I'm not going to do that because I know if I pop up at my sister's house, it's most likely going to be a confrontation. Not because of me, because I'm not mad at her. You feel me? She mad at me. But I know that because she is not healed or not working on her healing, that she just still want to hurt me. But it makes me feel the way because she not even fucking thinking about the kids. You feel me? Like, yeah, you might be making me feel disappointed, but what about the kids? Your kids' emotional, mental, spiritual health should be your fucking main priority. And it's sad, man. It make, it make me feel sad, but it also... It also helped me see, like, damn, bitch, you really done grew. You grew a fucking lot. You're not acting crazy. You're not cussing people out. Even though people is intentionally trying to pull you down to that to that vibration with them. I, I refuse to. I, I, I feel like I've come too far. I didn't come here to get mad, sad, and depressed. I came here to spend time with the people I love. If I'm not able to, hey, you know what? I'm just going to flow. I'm just going to roll with the punches. You feel me? So, um, at first I was kind of thinking of it like, dang, this trip didn't go how I wish it would have went. But then I had to change my perspective to like, this trip went exactly how it was supposed to go. Because this trip helped you reflect on yourself and see that you have grown. And I'm fucking proud of myself. So, even though I didn't set that boundary right away with my ex... I cleaned it up, and I feel better. Even though I haven't been able to see my nieces and nephew yet, I'm still holding hope and faith in my heart. 
I ex I actually extended my vacation for two extra days because I want to see them. You feel me? So my son is supposed to try to slide down on them, slide down on them and get them today. And I'm gonna be so happy if he do, but I'm still gonna be grateful if he can't. So I think that's all I want to say. I kind of got off the topic of addictions and self-control. But I think self I think I'm using I think I'm using self-control with how I'm not reacting to the baby mama and my sister. So I don't know, but I'm about to get off of this one camera right here. And I just want to say your what you do to comfort yourself as a habit, it don't make you a bad person. But it will absolutely help us feel better when we begin to identify, accept, and then work on healing where those bad habits come from it will make us feel better about ourselves because that's self-loving always set boundaries with people no matter how the fuck it make them feel oh fucking well setting and standing on yourself setting boundaries and standing on yourself is fucking self-love I don't care who feel a way about it. I'm going to say that again. People that try to, I'm just going to say, people that try to use kids as a pawn to make the other parent, to make whoever mad, if there's anybody watching that, please stop doing that. Because, yeah, you might be hurting the other person, but you nine times out of ten hurting the children more. And... I think it you I think you really need help if you want to use a kid as a fucking pawn. It's not cool, man. You fucking the kid up. You traumatizing your children. Don't do that. Get help, man. Uh I'ma end. Hey, thank you. I'ma end this video here with saying that and just love on yourself, man. Um I am available for life coaching, for intuitive guidance counseling with tarot or just talking uh, if you need me. My rates are $30 for 30 minutes. You can reach me by texting me. I'm going to leave my number in the description box to this video. Um, yeah, everybody needs somebody to talk to. And as I've been going through my healing process, a lot of times I felt so lonely. And I didn't have people I could talk to because I didn't trust anyone. And because I was worried about what people think about my thoughts that I think is so crazy. But... What I've come to learn is that talking, letting those emotions out, talking, having someone to listen to, having a, a, a trustful ear or shoulder can be so healing. And I am committed to listening. I'm passionate about feelings. I'm passionate about expressing my feelings. I'm passionate about listening to other people's feelings because uh, my intuitive gifts help me really, really feel what people feel when they talk to me. So that way, like I put myself in your shoes. When you when you speak with me and tell me what you got going on, I put myself in your shoes and I feel it. So my guidance comes from that place of love for real. It comes from a place of me feeling like I was there and. Boy, 
Have I been through a lot of shit in life? We all been through a lot of shit, but I've been through a lot of shit. And I know that God allowed all those experiences so I could learn how to navigate. So I could help other people with not feeling alone and with advice to help them fucking navigate as well. So I'm here if you need my guidance. Um, if you happen to come across this video and you feel like, and you feel like, um, you know, somebody who could listen to this message, share it with them, please. If, if you got anything insightful out of this message, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe as I try to grow my platform. Okay, let me say this last thing. God keeps prompting me to start my spiritual practice, right? I keep fucking beating my head against the wall because I'm like, God, what do you want me to do? Like, what do you want me to do as a spiritual practice, God? It's like I, it's like it's been so hard for me to figure out, but I really know the answer, and the answer is listening and talking to people. Because I'm still overcoming my social anxiety because I'm still building my confidence in what God want me to do. This video will be like, I'm just jumping out here, jumping out, like jumping in the fucking ocean and not knowing how to swim and having faith that shit, I'm going to learn how to float or something. So that's what this feels like. I feel like crying right now because I feel like crying because I'm proud of myself. And even though I'm afraid right now. Even though I'm afraid right now, I'm still doing it. So, that makes me feel proud of myself. So, you go, bitch. <laughs> I don't want to make my eyelashes come off. Cause I want to still wear these lashes, honey. Cause they popping. But yeah, I'm about to wrap up this video right here for the YouTube. Thank you for watching. Thank you for if you resonate with this, leave me comments. Leave me comments. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Have a great day.